In our first introduction to Macro Scheduler, we wrote a simple script that types a username and password into a web page. We assigned our macro to a hotkey, so it runs whenever we press Ctrl, Alt, and A. Now we're going to edit that macro to make it start from the beginning of the process when we open a browser and go to that web page. I've opened Macro Scheduler from the tray icon. Now you can see we have other macros with hotkeys assigned to them. And here's the one we created, Library 1. We can click Edit up here or double click to open it. If we know the command we want, we can just type right into the first line, but we don't know, so we're going to look over here. But, you know, it's also helpful to look at the commands this way. You can take a few minutes sometime to browse through the command reference in Help. And if you're a regular civilian like me, you'll find a lot of them beyond your knowledge, but you'll also find the ones that match up with what you want your macro scripts to do. Okay, here in the list of commands, what do we want? A web browser is a program, and there's a command for that under Running Programs and Files. But usually, I don't need the Run Program because Execute File starts whatever program is associated with that file. So if I execute a file that happens to be a page on the internet, it's going to open up my default browser. Now I'm just pasting in a web URL, and the command is inserted where I left the cursor. Now are we done? Not quite, because our script operates more or less instantly, faster than the internet, and faster than other things our computer is trying to do. So. This would be like if you clicked on a web page and started typing in numbers before the page appeared. Macro Scheduler can tell the script to wait for a specific event, typically a window opening, or it can say wait for this amount of time in seconds. We're going to use both. Wait window open prompts us for the name of the window, and since we've cleverly kept that window open, it helpfully lets us select it, so no typing errors. Insert. There it is. Next, we'll do this one manually. Wait. Half a second is all we need. And this avoids any error we might get from a tiny lag between when the window is there but the page isn't quite complete. Now I've really come to appreciate these wait commands. Sometimes if something's not working, I'll drop them in temporarily and slow things down so I can see what my macro is doing remember to click Save. Now we should be able to run this script right from Macro Scheduler, so let's try it. Click here or press F9. Success! We can even add one more command, press Enter, to finish off the process. So this is one way to use Macro Scheduler, automating a sequence of keystrokes that you do routinely. I've also made what I call disposable scripts, macros I use just once to speed up a keystroke-intensive project. And of course this program has scheduler in its name for a reason. You can make it do things when you're not there at any time. But that's another video. Have fun!